Intel and AMD, well, apparently they're getting together. A merger is happening, but this is speculation. And what does this mean exactly? So the proposed merger between Intel and AMD's chip design divisions is a surprising and potentially controversial move. While both companies have historically been fierce competitors, yes, they indeed have been, there are several factors here to consider. Increased market power, and that would be very important because they are competing against a giant, and that giant, right now at least, is NVIDIA. So a combined entry could have greater market power and influence over the x86 ecosystem, as well enhanced innovation. The merger could lead to increased innovation and faster development of new technologies. But... Where you once had three companies, AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA, now I suppose you'll just have two. So, you know, a merged company could potentially reduce competition, leading to higher prices and less choices for consumers. Now, what are some of the potential drawbacks? Well, antitrust concerns, that would certainly be one of them. The merger would likely face significant regulatory hurdles due to antitrust concerns. Yep. Integration challenges. Yeah. How do you merge two companies that really have been head to head forever? I don't know. I mean, that seems impossible, but, you know, I suppose if they let bygones be bygones and uh, they organize and get together, you know, it's going to be challenging, but I suppose you know, it, it's doable. So ultimately, the impact of a potential merger on the industry as a whole and consumers remains uncertain. But one thing that is certain, Intel can't compete directly with NVIDIA. Neither can AMD. If they join forces, they might have a chance. Now, NVIDIA is getting into the CPU processor PC market. Next year, you could see motherboards that are entirely made by NVIDIA. You drop in a high-end NVIDIA video card and you have one serious, serious gaming computer system. It will be terribly expensive, but it will probably be the very fastest out there, right? So that's probably what they are seeing. And maybe this is one of the reasons, not the only one, because you know, when it comes to also AMD and Intel on the AI front, they can't really compete either with NVIDIA. But together, maybe, maybe not. What's your thoughts?